This is a non-profit fan-based manga dub. The proper rights go to Show and Jump, Kazuki Takahashi, Shady Vox for his intro, and other artists. Please support the official franchise and artists used. This manga is audio descriptive for the blind and partially of hearing and sighted. Warning: The shadow game you're about to see is extremely dangerous. We wish you not to do it at home at your own risk. The following narration is now continued to be done by Team Mecha rather than Ariana. Thank you for understanding. So here we go, we're walking in God. Side by side, and arm in arm. I stand to count the disappearing dreams. But through the fog, my friends are what I see. You're on the path that you seem to know. My treasure is an ancient puzzle 3,000 years old. It was found in Egypt and seems to possess great powers. At least, that's what my grandpa said. But it granted a wish to have friends. So surely it has some power. Do you know, Chi? Did you see that video? Oh, that. Well, I squinted, but I couldn't see any of the important stuff. Dang it! The stupid mosaic stuff got in the way. Yugi, I'll lend you it sometime. Uh, yes. At the entrance of Domino High School, Junochi and Yugi saw the ZTV van parked outside. Huh? Look, there's a television van parked outside the school gate. Ah, uh, yeah. But why? M maybe a celebrity or a super famous idol is coming to school. Oh yeah, that must be it, Yugi. Yeah, I'll take a look. Hey Yuki, trying to catch an idol? I can't see anything. I think it's a one-way window. Huh? I can't see anything. That face. I've decided. He'll be the star of my next project. Battle 2. Lying Eyes. Good morning, everyone. It is time for the morning show, Survival Morning. Today, our camera will get an exclusive scoop. Get ready for a flashback to your high school days. Now, the school behind me has a serious problem with bullying. Very sexy. Okay, after this, reporter San will go to the bullying scene. Tut, grab it up. Hey, assistant director, come here. Yes, sir. This guy. This school kid, and bring him here. Here's a pick. Yes, sir? Oh, yeah. This kid sure looks bullied. What a sap. <laughs> For this project, he's the perfect star. Beat up that kid at the specified place. We'll catch it on camera, easy as pie. The viewers requested a documentary on violence. So the network figures it's sure to boost ratings. But is it really alright to film people getting beaten up? <laughs> you still don't get it. How many years have you been in this business? Uh, half a year? From now on, you'll be my apprentice. Apprentice? You will now fill the role of the stool bully in front of the camera. <laughs> what? An idol? Sure, and the evidence is a TV band parked outside the school gate. Tell her, Yugi! Well, yeah. But if it were true, someone would have seen this idol. And I haven't heard anything about an idol. Moron! She's probably hiding, disguised as a student. But I'm going to get her alone and unmask her! Junochi kun, that. that's. I could make a killing with a photo of her. That's a crime! 
There's no penalty for stripping. They throw the book at you. And how about that television van? Ah, I know this guy. He's Yugi from 1B. Thanks a lot. Yugi from 1B, eh? I'll look him into position behind the gym. gym. <sighs> if I don't if beat I that kid up on camera, the director will fire me. Man, what a bad rule. <sighs> I wonder if all assistant directors have to sink this low. Hey Yugi, let's go find that idol. Um, but maybe the TV van is really here to cover something else. Yugi, not you too. Found them. It's not just a dream, Yugi. You have to believe. Pfft, fine, I'll go search by, by myself. Forget you. Huh. Uh, Junoji kun? Bye. I guess I, I said something wrong. Yugi kun. Um, who are you? My name's Fujita. N nice to meet you. I know that there's an idol in the school. Yugi kun, know anything about that? Wow! There really is an idol? Well, duh. This idiot can't tell that I'm lying. lying. Over there. I think you two would get along. Tell you what, I'll introduce you, since the idol and me are pals. Wow! Who is it? Who's the idol? Come on, the idol's behind the gym. Be sure to come alone. Okay. Both the assistant called Fujita and Yugi went behind the gym, ready to punk Yugi. Hey, hurry up! Uh, yeah? He's late! I wish that Yuki guy would hurry up. My job's on the line. Ah, here he comes. Yes, get the camera rolling! You're just in time. Uh, Fujita-san, where's the idol? Well, the truth is... Wait, I hear someone coming. The assistant then punched Yugi in the face! Ah, ah, ha! Great. Now, be more flashy. Moron, there isn't any idol, and there never was! The assistant punched Yugi again in the face once again. Hey, wait just a dang second! You jerk! What the heck are you doing? Yugi, are you okay? You creep! You're, what are you doing to my pal? I'll kill you! I... I really didn't want to. The director made me... Director? That's enough! Fujita, I'll take over from here. You... You made him do this to Yugi! Yugi! Are you okay? I... I'm sorry, Jinochi-kun. I want to see the idol. Only because you believe these lies these creeps were telling you. Hey, cut! We don't need to film this teenage drama. It's a waste of film. Well, Yuri Kun was unlucky enough to be chosen for the role of bullied child. Really unfortunate. Just a bad roll of the dice. <laughs> but thanks to him, we filmed a great episode. The audience will feel so sorry for him. Yuri Kun, you're the hero. The hero of my broadcaster, that is. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Hit me. But while you're beating, the cameraman will be catching it all on tape. What the? <laughs> it's, it's not, not even tape. 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 And with that distraction, the director kicked Jinochi and stuck. Gah! Ah! Jinochi kun! Do you finally get it? You can't resist the power of the camera! With it, your faces should be held up to the public storm. <laughs> and with those words from the director, Yami Yuki took over Yugi once again. <laughs> but don't worry, your faces will be mosaic out. <laughs> the director went back to the CTV broadcasting office, as Yami Yugi was ready to judge him closely behind. Director, this episode you put together is staggering. <laughs> Give him bait, and they'll always bite. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Maybe next time we could kill someone on camera. What? Huh? I have been waiting, Director-san. You. 
you're that Yudi brat. What the heck, it's the middle of the night. Don't tell me you want an actor's fee. You have stumbled into my realm of influence. Therefore, you must become my opponent. In a game. A game? His appearance, His appearance and personality, and personality are, completely are completely different. different. We'll play using this, a die. Since the era of ancient Egypt, dice has been used to men's fates. At that time, they were called astragalus and were made from the hoof bones of animals. They were cooked and rounded, unlike the modern dice. Now here are the rules to the game of fate. The rules are simple. After I roll the die, if you can roll a lower number, you win. If the number is the same, you still win. Alright, and if I win, you will suffer a penalty game. That's stupid! How am I supposed to win with those odds? Yami Yugi, drop the dice! This is dumb. Don't interrupt me! Anyway, Yummy if you drop the dice to show. Six. <laughs> Six! I automatically win! I don't even have to throw the die! You certainly seem lucky, but the game's not over yet. Damn, what a stubborn guy. Then have it your way. While I'm at it, I'll leave a hole in your face! Chucks the dice at Yami Yugi in the face. So chucks to the floor, sharing. One! <laughs> I rolled a one! I win! Now you will receive a penalty game. What? It turned out to be a one, but split in half to make a seven. Is that even possible? I'm gonna Google it quickly. The, the die broke. It landed on seven. Oh man. Penalty game. Illusion of Mosaic. Yami Yuki casts a spell over the director. Ah, oh, oh, oh. The gimbal's on a mosaic! The gimbal's on a mosaic! Ah. Director son, you twisted the reality in front of the camera to suit your own needs. Therefore, you will need to see the world through a filter of mosaic. morning and went back to a typical day at Domino High School. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yugi, be happy. I brought the goods. Yay! Thank you, Junochi-kun. I'll watch it tonight. Anzu quickly grabbed the tape before Yugi. Ah! Hmm, what's this interesting movie? <laughs> what is it? Let me borrow it. No! Give it back, Anzu! <laughs> 